state sees highest single-day surge of 824 new COVID cases while reporting 15 deaths in last 24 hours. Seven-year-old girl die of COVID at Jenim's state citizens fret as children become vulnerable to COVID-19 infections while reports tell different stories. And locals of Karang seek attention of authority concern to administer COVID vaccination at Karang Island. COVID-19 To protect from COVID-19, wash your hands with soap frequently. Marks Ningtina Neum Jumna Upiu. Whenever you go out of your house, wear mask properly. Amadi Mi Amaga Mi Amaga Gimarakta Fit Taduklap Na Pambiu. Always keep six feet distance from other people. Good evening. Welcome to ISTV English News at 8. Now the news in detail. State saw the highest single-day surge of 824 new COVID cases while reporting 15 deaths in the last 24 hours. Total deaths have now reached 720 and active cases have reached 6,785 with today's report. It may be noted that Manipur has been witnessing steep rise of COVID-19 cases in the second wave of coronavirus. The cumulative number of COVID cases has inch up to 45,451. Meanwhile, 468 patients were discharged in the last 24 hours. State's recovery rate dipped to 83.48 percent. According to the latest report till 5 p.m. from additional director of health and spokesperson of health department, Dr. Shashikumar Mangang, the positive cases from the general population were 168 from Imphal East, 361 from Imphal West, 43 from Bishnupur, 3 from Chandel, 67 from Chirachanpur, 92 from Kakching, 3 from Kamzong, 1 from None, 8 from Ferzol, 15 from Senapati, 7 from Tamenglong, 4 from Tengnopal, 36 from Thobal and 16 from Ukrul. The total number of recovered cases is 37,946. All necessary medical precautionary measures like containment and contact tracing are in place, reported COVID-19 Common Control Room this evening. Seven-year-old girl died of COVID-19 infections at Jenim's last night. State citizens amid fight against second wave of COVID pandemic have begun showing concerns over COVID death of a seven-year-old girl from Imphal West in state. The minor was at home after she was discharged from a hospital in a stomach infection case just few days ago. She was admitted to Jenim's hospital after she complained of severe stomach ache again last night. Later, she succumbed to COVID infections around 3 a.m. at the hospital. According to reports received by ISTV News, no other family member had complained of COVID infections until now, which also came as a surprise to the parents. Different sections of society have raised concern claiming that the main focus of the centre and the state has always been on saving the youths and the aged people when it comes to curbing COVID-19. However, children are seen being gradually becoming more vulnerable to COVID-19 infections in many cases in Rajasthan and now the state as it sees first COVID death of a minor. Medical Superintendent of Jenims has submitted a written report of the death to the Deputy Commissioner of Imphal West. Procedure for performing last rites of the deceased minor has also been initiated, it is reported. 
Meanwhile, a mismatch of data has been seen in the details of death reports published by the Common Control Room today. There is no mention about fatality of any minor girl in the report published by the COVID-19 Common Control Room. Also, according to reports received by ISTV News, as many as six persons, including the seven-year-old girl, died of COVID at Jennings in the last 24 hours. On the contrary, only two dates Two deaths have been mentioned under Jennings in the final report published by COVID-19 Common Control Room. On the other hand, people are in a panic over report of 600 children testing COVID positive in Dosa and Dungarpur districts of Rajasthan. According to the health department, 341 children below the age of 18 years have been infected in Dosa alone between 1st and 21st of May. The same is the case with Dungarpur. In Dungarpur, 255 children below the age of 18 years have been infected from 12 to 22 of May. India so further dip in daily COVID count as over 1,96,000 new coronavirus cases were reported in the last 24 hours, while deaths from COVID-19 rose by 3,511. The overall case count surged past 2.69 crore mark, while death tally climbed over 3 lakh 7,200. Recoveries outnumbered the new cases as over 3 lakh 26,000 COVID patients were discharged in the last 24 hours. Active cases reduced to around 25 lakh 86,000 in India. Globally, the dreaded disease has claimed over 34 lakh 78,000 lives, while the number of positive cases has exceeded 16 crore 75 lakh and 34,000. The total number of recovered cases has crossed 14 crore 85 lakh and 74,000 according to Worldometer. ISTV News appeals to the public to wear face masks, follow social distancing norms and wash hands frequently as advised by the experts to protect from COVID-19. Locals of Karang in Tanga Assembly constituency sought the attention of the authority concerned to administer COVID-19 vaccination from, for them at Primary Health Centre located at Karang Island. Advisor of Karang Island Development Organisation, Aich Gitajain, has urged to all concerned not to let politics interfere in the ambulance services arranged for Karang Village, which have a small population of 3,000 residents. He also drew the attention of the authority concerned on the fees for ambulance service being taken from the poor. A meeting was held in the presence of Karang Island Development Organization, Karang Island Motor Boat and Boat Association, leaders of local Maira Paibi and elected members of the three wards at Karang. Speaking further at the meeting, Gitajan informed that vaccination program for COVID-19 is being conducted for Tanga constituents at Tanga Primary Health Centre. However, as the vaccination was held only at the PHC, residents of Karang who are living in middle of Loktak Lake, especially the elderly persons, are facing inconveniences to commute till the centre to take jab for COVID vaccine. Thereby, he urged the authority concerned to hold vaccination drive at Primary Health Centre Karang, considering the plight of the locals. Karang had to specially when a half an atabina. She do a man where a man I know him at Razun the Tinaba Wam and Tolopa. I quit Karang with this, the motor would settle, motor would not move hang with the guard with the pull up me contrary Fuse, pull up Tasilaga, going I betal. I think I'm sure Muka with the guard, Sing Ubina, Karangi Saka, the Halaman, Jima Kong Yadaba, and Sagi, Sapokamdaba, and the Hidak take up Nimba, the woman, the woman, Sapokam Bikun Savu later. Isagi P. A. Simon later, the Japanese Massa Queen of Government, and I'm hanging quickly notice. People see the Malay, the Maramans of the Kafu Yagan, having Shimon and Nostro Vidavina. Karangi Dimasana, so you can appear she or Lejapo Amina, Madu Equina Tahunzanina. 
Member of Karang Ward No. 3, Hauvijam Ibuema, said the state had announced them as model village by dividing the three wards of Karang into two parts. Moreover, two motorboat ambulances and two Maruti van ambulances were given to the residents of Karang. However, extra charges are being collected for the Maruti van ambulance upon ferrying beyond Moirang. This has caused great inconveniences to the poor residents. As such, he sought the attention of the authority concerned to look into the matter. Ambulancing as a quina ana bama bishin put puda morang the gihe lagadi to pass a check logodoni hyba hariba of sun sing as his haka and basiki sapsaba hariba pashasi loraga ambulance hakagi when ana put up with him with the mokambibra natraga ana zipu wakan the pashas minor loraga puga doni hybagi or a masaka at sapsan or that two aga appointment to pb hibra i will consent on sakai puning ching sinjari masi matang in tumba action a conjugal. Two minor girls drowned in Lematag River near Taosang Bridge in Noni District. The tragic incident took place around 1 p.m. yesterday when they were taking bath in the river after they went to a field along Laimata River Bank with their parents. The dead bodies were retrieved by nearby villagers around 5 p.m. As no action has been taken up so far to compensate the affected landowners of Kongnam Thana village, Senapati district, in spite of repeated queries and pleas, the affected parties along with the village authorities after thorough discussion have resolved to launch intense form of democratic agitations for non-payment of land compensation if no concrete step is taken up before 10th of June. The statement was included in a press release signed by the Chairman and Secretary of Kongnam Thana Village, Briefing Media Persons Secretary Kongnam Thana Village A. Peter Krechina stated that a major landslide at Kongnam Thana Village along National Highway No. 2 took place on 23rd of October 2020 cutting off the main lifeline of the state. Many officials comprising of additional chief secretary works, engineers of PWD and BIPL, district administration led by the deputy commissioner, Sinapati, had held a meeting with the affected landowners, village chairman and others at Kongnam Thana village on 24th of October 2020. Measurement of land and plots along with standing properties were done after the meeting that led to the agreement to compensate owners of the affected lands. The state government representatives led by DC Senapati reportedly gave assurance that the compensation will be released within 45 days from 24th of October 2020. However, no further response has come from the DC's office or state government so far despite repeated inquiries and pleas met by the villagers. In the larger interest of the public, the villagers request all the civil organizations of the district to extend their cooperation and support the cause of the affected land owners. Starting from October 24, 2020, 180 days have lapsed since the issue of the time frame that is 40 days. The date, till date, no communication information have come from DC's office despite repeated inquiries and pleas. The government is sure and aware that NH2 is 100% the lifeline of Manipur. Alleged Legal owners of lands between YK College and Uningkong at Wangjing has drawn the attention of the authority concerned to look into the matter of alleged irregularities in procuring land in the area. Yumnam Sachi, one of the landowners from Wangjing, said Kongjom SDC, Taubal SDO and officials of NHIDCL and GR Infra have conducted many joint surveys in the area for the ongoing project of road widening of the national highway number 102. Surprisingly, workers of NHIDCL and GR Infra Limited were found dumping stones and soil on the roadside before even taking any consent 
or compensating for the procurement. As such, she sought mutual agreement between the authority and the landowners before the road widening work begins in the area. <laughs> There are a total of 28 COVID patients at the Community Home Isolation Center opened at New Model Public School in Kumbi Assembly Constituency. Pradhans of five Gram Panchayats in Kumbi Assembly Constituency, member of Wangu Borayangbi Jila Parishad M. Rojain, MO in charge of Kumbi PHC, Dr. Roger and SDO of Moirang, Lunmin Thang Haukip discussed on ways to curb COVID-19 in the area. Jilla Parishad member M. Brojen, who is also the chairman of the isolation center, said the center has been functioning with the financial aid of 20,000 rupees from Jilla Parishad member and 50,000 rupees from five Pradhans so far. However, smooth functioning of the center has become out of hands as the number of COVID patients has increased in the recent past. As such, he appealed to the state government to extend all possible help to curb COVID-19 in the assembly constituency, which does not have an MLA at the moment. MLA like Rabanina, a koi, whenever Badan Mangaga, JP Isamaka, a koi in a kind of Jaraka Karata Vasi, by Sasu Lushan Tokraba, is a big gomena, Kumbi Kendra, Emele Lakraba, Jaga Sigi, Awa Apakitangi, and Biu have a meeting to me, Aba Makada, Wareta Jariba. Two cadres of Jilangrong United Front ZUF were killed in a factional clash around 6.30 p.m. near Longmai Part 5 and the Noni Police Station in Noni District. Police have picked up the corpse and handed over to the respective families. The deceased ZUF cadres were identified as Sumgai Lung Gonmei, 24 years, son of CM Roy Gonmei from Namdai Long Village, Kasar, Assam, and Kaine Liang Panmei, 28 years, son of Huim Pao Panmei from Ramla Long, Taming Long. The fifth production of Lucky Seven Star. Tamoy Ani will be premiered on ISTV Cinema at 7 p.m. tomorrow. The film features Sujibala and Nirmal Kangjum as main leads of the Manipuri film Tamoy Ani. Now it's time for a short break. We'll be right back with the national news. Stay tuned. Kanghanjaba, Nungsijaraba ISTV program both Hawaii Hatsang Yangli Ying Biriba subscriber, viewers in Giva from Dabwa from Amatan Kanganjari, Madudi, Adom Adom Nasinariba ISTV Gisato Box Adu, subscriber Isai Sagini, Hariba Isai Sagi Sato Box Adu Kana Kana Gumbana, ISTV Gisato Box Nataba, Atopa Sato Box Ama, Mahut Sinaba Pirak Labadi, subscriber Isai Shana Lo with the Naba Kanganjari, Akopa Marol Kangbin Labadi, 0385 Two four five nine five six four Natraga nine four zero two nine zero four four three six Natraga nine eight six two two seven zero one four five that contact to you Kanandariba Secretary General ISTV Network Minus Lim the lying lady. I hope you go my Hindu no papa. I so the home of Tabayalo. I do the Naka my toba. I'm <laughs> 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 
Masigi wakal si su. Karam ba matam da. Ay ki thamoy da hora kibano hai basu ay kang hote. Karam na kan kibano hai basu. Kang hote. Welcome back. As many as 5,424 cases of mucormycosis or black fungus have been reported from 18 states with a majority of them in Gujarat and Maharashtra, Union Health Minister Harsh Warden said. Nine lakh vials of amphotericine B are being imported by the central government for the treatment of black fungus. Of these, 50,000 vials have been received and around 3 lakh vials will be available in the next 7 days, he said. 19 states have already declared micromucosis a, a notifiable disease under the Epidemics Act, he informed. He also informed that states have been requested to send samples regularly for better analysis. Just a week after India experienced the strongest tropical cyclone to ever hit the west coast, a new tropical cyclone is set to hit northeast India. Last week, Tropical cyclone Tauti hit northwestern India, bringing flooding rains and storm surge to the region, including in Mumbai. Tauti was the strongest storm to ever make landfall on the western coast of India, ultimately killing over 100 people. Tropical cyclone Yas is intensifying over the Bay of Bengal and is already producing waves of up to 25 feet. Heavy rainfall could cause flash flooding in northeastern India with a widespread 150 to 250 mm of rain and isolated totals over 250 mm likely. Some of the outer rain bands on the eastern side of the storm may lead to some flooding across portions of Bangladesh. Delhi police has sent a notice to micro-blogging site Twitter over the toolkit controversy. It said its team went to Twitter office to serve the notice to Twitter. Delhi police said this, said this was necessitated as they wanted to ascertain who was the right person to serve a notice as replies by Twitter India MD were ambiguous. Police said it is inquiring into a complaint in which clarification is sought from the Twitter regarding the classification of a tweet by BJP spokesperson Sambit Patra as manipulative. Earlier, Patra had shared an alleged toolkit prepared by Congress to target the government. Later, Twitter had labelled it as manipulated media. Congress had also approached Delhi police with a complaint against BJP leaders, terming the toolkit as forged. Delhi police said it appears that Twitter has some information which is not known to it on the basis of which they have classified it as manipulated. It added that this information is relevant to the inquiry as special cell which is conducting the inquiry wants to find out the truth. And before we close that lines once again. State sees highest single-day surge of 824 new COVID cases while reporting 15 deaths in the last 24 hours. Seven-year-old girl die of COVID at Jenim's state citizens fret as children become vulnerable to COVID-19 infections while reports tell different stories. And Locals of Karang seek attention of authority concerned to administer COVID vaccination at Karang Island. Well, that's all we have in this edition of news. Thank you for watching and good night.